another question that comes often to me is, what was it really that has impressed me in Shivananda to take these chances and to take the risk and to really turn my life around 180 degrees? And while I have been only a very short time with him uh, in India, nevertheless, in that time I could see that he was a person of great character. And he carried out his promises. That was very important to me, anybody promising something. And the, uh, his own dedication. And I saw him sometime being quite sick and quite in pain, and uh, yet still carrying on and having his disciples doing the same thing. And while I not always were happy to be put through the mill, uh, I saw nevertheless the wisdom of it. And I did understand that he had given birth to my spiritual life. In that sense, every girl is a mother giving, helping to give birth to the spiritual life of uh, the seeker. Message to the people of Canada. It gives me great pleasure to send you all, the people of Canada, this personal message through Sri Swami Sivananda Radha. I am grateful to God and to Sri Swami Radha for this opportunity to serve you all, and I am grateful to the inventor of the magnetic tape recorder, for it is he who enables this message to be conveyed to you all. What wonderful inventions! The world has shrunk, distance has been conquered, our life has been made comfortable. The printing press, radio and television, all these we go to science. Material prosperity, comfort, luxury, and happiness cannot give you peace. Peace and happiness are not in objects. They can be had only in the Atman, in God. The wealth of meditation, you have to renounce worldly wealth and acquire spiritual wealth. There are very few people who are like Shivananda. There were many holy men and women, but there was something of an adventurous spirit in Shivananda. The way he dealt with women, he would say, yes, stand up for yourself. Yes, you should have um, education. Don't get married. Ask your parents to rather pay the education and put yourself on your own feet. And that was an excellent idea. And yes, you should accept the promotion of becoming the, the uh, head of the school or the headmaster or whatever it else was. I just marveled at him seeing in 55 and 56 how other women struggled just even to be able to voice their own thinking. When I was in India, I um, probably uh, had the same problems that you have. I know a few of them. Yeah, here was Shivananda, the great master, as he was called, the great guru, who um, seemed to be almost unapproachable. And yet, I had the opportunity also to meet Shivananda in his very human form. Because, you see, if the human aspect is denied, then the spiritual aspect isn't there either. Before I go a little more into this, let me say something else. Unless you make a great effort to discover the divine in you, in yourself, you cannot discover the divine in anyone else. Because all the impression of human personality we're standing away. I didn't like everything that Shivananda asked me to do. No. You may think it was all wonderful, but it wasn't. Sometimes it was horrible things. 
He said, you go to the Troya temple and uh, meditate there at 5 o'clock. I'm expecting something great thing, great <laughs> revelation to happen. <laughs> and instead, I'm sitting there on that stone bench, and I hear branches <laughs> <laughs> breaking. And I didn't dare to turn my head around. And then when nothing happened, I did so middle, millimeter by millimeter, just whatever the animal was. And I was, I had seen a tiger before, so that, of course, conditioned me too. And then um, it was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I, some time ago, I had a dream with what I call my dream experiences, you know. So, so here in this dream, I make an effort. And then I want to turn over, and there's a big lump. And um, and I can push this big lump away. Now in my dream, I think I have to find out what's here in my bed. And suddenly I realize it's Shivananda. <laughs> It's Shivananda, and where's my pillow? <laughs> I sleep with my head on his chest. And then I couldn't move very much because he had an armor on me. And then in, in the next moment, uh, we are up and on, on, the, on the road. And then uh, Shivananda uh, had occasionally a way of being very warm and sweet. So here in my dream experience, he said, Well, Radhaji, it's still a while to go. But if you get too tired, just call me. I carry you. Now, the life goal would have never said that. have Swami Radha as a woman and, um, and the mother, Madhaji, she was, because she looked after us. She brought us what we needed in order to live our life and she prepared us for life when she wasn't here. And of course, just when we thought things would be going well, there would be the tests or the illusions being broken. And she said, well, the ashram doesn't give really severe tests like you might find in some of the texts. Like, But she said, it's just what's needed, just what's necessary. Remembering my difficulty when I was in India, uh, when Gurudev said, uh, drop it. I dropped the books in my hand. When I had no more, nothing in my hand, he still kept on saying, drop it. I thought for a moment, and finally it dawned on me, my ego. So I made my prostrations. And then that was it.